What's up, YouTube? Mr. Laminacy here, and today we're going to be doing Hell Leap Attack Barbarian. Now, we've talked about this before. In part Nightmare and part Normal, uh, Leap Attack does kind of do better. When you get to part Hell, unfortunately, the damage will start to fall off a little bit, but um, we can still go around, mess around, have a little fun, try it out, see how things go, and then go from there, right? So let's let's jump into the character. Let's look at a, a little overview of where he is. We can again talk a little bit about leveling up in some cases, whatever stuff. Um, but here we can see kind of my skill build. So I've just got, you know, a couple points here into like natural resist. That's nice for getting those, you know, additional resistances and stuff. A little increased speed, a little pull arm mastery. We have maxed out leap attack and leap. Um, this gets us that additional damage from that leap attack, and that's that damage that is around us, that kind of pulsing damage around us. And then otherwise, we're kind of going into battle orders just to start tanking ourselves up, because we do need that. Stats-wise, we have buffed up some strength here, just so we can use uh, this insight, which has been really nice. Getting us the meditation aura has been super solid. Uh, someone in chat was saying you can use uh, spirits and they're actually pretty solid and I would believe it because plus to skills is going to increase the damage on your leap attack which is going to be um, very helpful, right? So I would believe that but this gives us a nice kind of uh, single target um, hitting right there that we can use for just kind of crushing more basic stuff. You can see we have decent attack rating. 4,500. We have a Lore Helm. Nothing on an amulet, really. I'll probably try just crafting an amulet or something like that a little bit later. Sanders boots. Just some resistances. We got a Nagel ring. Some more resistance right there. A little bit of life. We crafted these, which did give us uh, the 24 light res. And of course, we get the little bit of crushing blow from it. And then I have a smoke for 50 all res, which I do believe will be helpful just to, you know, kind of give us a little bit more there. So I do think having a little bit more, and then our telly staff, I do think having a little more crushing blow could be really nice. Um, maybe for like ancients or something a little bit later on. I, I don't think we have a two open socket. We do have this, which has 20% chance of crushing blow. So putting on flesh render could be something that we look at a little bit later. We use this and then we use like a shield. Um, and that'll, you know, maybe be our, uh, build up right there for, um, for the ancients or something, right? That could be something we look at if we're wanting to kind of swap it out. Um, I mean, honestly, the half freeze duration is kind of nice. We could also, of course, get cannot be frozen or something with that, which could be helpful. Just kind of looking around at some of the gear we have. This helm is nice if we did need additional resistances, though we're maxed on light res right now, so we don't need that. Uh, and there is actually cold res half freeze duration right there if we wanted to get rid of a little bit of that. And then we could swap this on and this on. And that's actually not bad. So maybe we do that for now. The crushing blow is not too important at the moment. That'll just be something for kind of bosses later on. But uh, if you want you can, of course, continue to level up. And I'm on players eight right now. Um, but you can continue to level up. And this is something that I always recommend for, you know, just, just for everybody who's, you know, feeling a little bit, you know, like, hey, I don't feel safe enough with this character, whatever it is. I don't like having all those guys there. So I'm gonna kind of shift this a little bit. But you can always come out here and level up on Players 8 in the Frigid Highlands or a lower player count if you want to do that as well. It's a nice place just to get a little bit of experience. Um, and, you know, again, you just go 51, 52, 53, blah, blah, blah. You can go all the way up. Sounds good, huh? Um, and really just kind of have a, have a good time doing all that. You can get some nice stuff. Hey, 39 to 103 damage. That's not bad at all. Let me see. That actually could be something for our mercenary if we wanted. Uh, that's actually a pretty nice two-hander. I doubt he'll be able to survive much out there, but we can see. 
the bigger we get our battle orders as well, the easier it is uh, gonna be for our mercenary to survive, which is really nice as well. So, but he's looks like he's gonna go down right now. He's just not quite strong enough yet. Um, this is something we can, of course, look at for the future if we wanted there. And definitely some annoying side mobs. Yeah, that was my phone. It was spam. Don't worry about it. And there you go. I mean, that was such an easy level up. And now we're up to 52. And again, we could just keep going. You can go into the 60s doing that. Um, you know, it'll it'll be no problem whatsoever there. So, yeah, I, I think that is totally a uh, simple thing to do. And we can bump that. Obviously, we're, we're maxed here. If you want, you could, of course, uh, increase your polearm mastery, getting your higher chance for crit strike, higher chance for um, attack rating boost and, uh, and your damage right there. So that's something you could do. Or you can continue bumping like battle orders or something. And I'm just going to do that because I really enjoy to make sure I'm on players one, actually. <laughs> I don't want to be players eight out here. Um, you know, I really just en enjoy having uh, the additional life. I like to I dedicate these baby's bucks for treats for Darcy. <laughs> Can do. Did you know your Prime sub doesn't auto renew? This is your daily reminder. And here, one thing you have to remember with this character is jumping in the middle, it doesn't actually have like a stun or anything. And so this can actually be really helpful for the character is if you just kind of jump along the sides of it, you'll still get that pulse that's gonna hit everybody. You'll still get a hit because you'll still get that one swing maybe. But then of course you can still uh, kill from kind of the side, right? So, just a uh, fun little thing you can do. Curse is tough, so, you know, we have to be a little careful around that. But, there you go. So, it is possible to kill stuff in hell. Again, is it is it the fastest, most efficient way? Is this as good as like, you know, a blizzard sorceress? No, right? We also only have plus one to skills. And I do believe, uh, like someone in my chat was saying, if we had more to, to skills, it would actually go by better for us there as uh, having the ability to, um, you know, have higher plus skills would get us more damage. Because ultimately, the way it's working is we are getting one good hit with our weapon. As you can see, does some good damage. But everything else is uh, coming off of that pulse, that AoE. And so being able to have a few more points even in that, I think really, you know, does a lot. Real close to Blue Source though. Yeah, super, super close. <laughs> <laughs> and again, did we uh, expect this build to be an S tier, A tier build? Of course not. If you did, I'm sorry. That, that should not have been your expectation. <laughs> but... I'm also a little under leveled and stuff, and I do only have plus one to all skills. Now, you know, if you've got plus six, plus seven skills uh, from a variety of sources, I, I do think you'd actually have a, uh, a decent chance. I am of starting to feel bad for putting you through this lull. Ah, oh, it's okay. But sorry, not sorry, smiley face. Yeah, you know, you just got uh, exactly leap of faith build, right? Sure, we get our. Oof. Painful. 
Too much mana burn. That's the annoying part. is a build that never really had a uh, much of a chance before. So the fact that it's actually doing some stuff is, is really interesting. say the biggest difficulty or, or sadness maybe even of this build is that it doesn't have anything to accompany its leap attack AoE damage. There's no stun, there's no knockback, there's nothing of that nature. And so when you dive into the middle of everything, it just, you feel like it should stun them, you know? And then when it doesn't, you're like, oh, wait, what? <laughs> like, you feel like something should happen when you dive into the middle. But, uh, you know, this is kind of a new skill with the way they've added it. So, I don't know. Maybe, th maybe they'll make some adjustment or change to it. You know, in, in future patches. I could see them doing something to help it a little bit. Because, you know, it, it needs a tiny bit of help, it feels like. I don't really want to jump on those guys. Yeah, if you jump into the wrong path, you can just be in uh, a world of hurt. See that. <laughs> Good day. Conviction Aura is always a bad thing to jump into. I was showing off what happens if you jump into the wrong pack. How was Intentional your day, death. Mr. Lama C. Thank you, Bet Neck. It was nice. It was a nice day. Pretty chill so far. I was pretty tired waking up. I feel like these these weather changes are uh, you know are rough. But when it when things kind of are a little spread like that and stuff, and you can kind of jump on them, it's actually kind of fun. Hi, Brit Brittany. Thank you very much for the sub. Like it, it, it actually is a little fun just to watch your character just be big old leaper, flying around just swinging. You know, we've got decent attack rating with this. Uh, weapon here as well, which is nice. We'll go ahead and set a TP there. And then we'll move forward. And we can come back if we want Impossible. and do a, uh, a tower. You know, I think it's fun to at least do one. Which category one for the speedrun Sunday? It has not. Impossible. We're going to roll it at the end of today. So... End of today, we'll see. Honestly, probably getting those plus to skills on like the spirits and things would actually be a lot better to do. Let me actually check what I have rune wise. I do have an am rune. Okay. So we've got one. I've got two spirits. Cool. So if I find bases, we can actually run it, which would be pretty, uh, pretty fun. I think we should try it. 
So we have to get some broadswords or long swords. Uh, and then go from there. Hmm. Wonder where I should find those bases right now. I don't know if I could do nightmare ca cows on this very well. Normal cows, I think, would go pretty pretty well, though. But we won't be able to find them socketed, so we'll have to have two socket quests, which that partisan we might have used one on. So we can we can look around. Right now we'll just kind of keep that in mind and keep our eyes peeled for a white crystal or not crystal, a long sword or broadsword. Cause not only will that be beneficial for I mean again, it's not gonna hit for that main damage very well. But It'll be really nice for the AoE, but it'll also increase our resistances, it'll increase our battle orders, a lot of uh, those things on top of our AoE damage. So. I think that could be, uh, you know, decently nice. Now, if we find a four open socket crystal sword, obviously that'll work as well. Wow, this tower is just taking us right there. They're not being a knockback or a damage feels almost criminal. Doesn't it? Crystal sword. Four open sockets, perfect. Well, that was easy. Spirit swords won't give me any resistances. Mm, does insight? That was a freebie. Now we do have a lot of strength, so if we did find a monarch shield, we could actually get ourselves a uh, sword and board spirit if we wanted. But we'd need to find a monarch and get that socketed. So. Beautiful, level 53. I can't carry anymore. Impossible. <laughs> and now it's uh, we could probably just go back to normal because I do think we have at least one socket quest. And so we could go and just get one of those socketed. Which would be nice. Let's go ahead and take care of some archers. And again, I mean, the leap attack is really nice if we get a big hit off. But, I, I do think... Having the, uh, just the more leap damage there will be really nice for us. Guys, down a little bit. Can I keep him at that range and kite him? 
Yeah, Monarch will drop anywhere in hell. Like I say, I would need another 30-something strength for it. So it would be a pretty big ask there, but then we would get, you know, Monarch Shield, so we get all the resistances of Spirit as well, which would be nice. Another Amran. For another spirit. <laughs> Good day. Perfect. 112 mana. 8 magic absorb. Gorgeous. So yeah, this would be going for the less damage build. Now we could, of course, also put this in a, you know, if we got uh, four open socket higher base, we could do that. Um, but, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I imagine it's going to be not quite as good there. So, we've got that. Let's go back to normal. And we need to do the cows. You think the damage drop off is going to be too insane? It's going to lose its main hit damage. So against a boss, I will swap on either insight or like I said before, Put on, you know, a club or something um, for a little bit additional damage. Phoenix, Grief, Bramble. Nice. So yeah, against a boss. But again, if you notice when we're fighting a lot of the regular monsters, yeah, some of the damage is coming from from there, but a lot of the damage is coming from, you know, us just having the pulse. And I'm also thinking about survivability as, uh, as a big piece. You know, that's been something that it has been kind of a difficulty for the character there is we're not quite as survivable so extra points in battle orders extra points in resist all you know and even the extra points in like I and mean, i guess pull on mastery is not really mattering because we're not using the pull on anymore but that's fine um you know what oh i gotta talk to Shakara. <laughs> Would I respect to get points out of strength and back into vitality? We could do that as well. To get that survivability up. 100%. percent could do that as well. Deckard Kane, you've got to get out of here. All right, let us do a little cows. And now crystal sword, broadsword, longsword, all of it works. So let's just do a little moo moo murder. Ethereal? Oh, I don't want ethereal actually. Okay, we want it to be white. That would be fun. Honestly, we can probably increase the players. Let's go players eight, just to get more drops. Amrune. And you know, this is also a great place to get those runes. No. 
Uh, two-handed sword. Okay. So again, long sword, crystal sword, broad sword. There's the long sword. So we can use that. We can keep looking if we want. Forty to attack rating. Okay, nice. Yes, it always hits. The the pulse does. There's another crystal sword. Yeah, but it was not white. There's another long sword. I'm just thinking for requirements, it's a little higher, but also, ah, we'd need 70 strength anyways for there. Yeah, we're probably fine. Okay, let's go ahead and go back. Forty-six attack rating, two to three cold damage. I'm gonna get rid of that, and we'll grab that. We'll keep our attack rating boost for now. One to three cold damage, eight cold res. Get rid of two to strength, and do like that. I guess we can take this muscle to and go there. Perfect. Has that added and it's faster? Yeah, but we don't actually need the the speed or the the range really, because it's not uh, we're not hitting really Afternoon. for much at all here. Okay, so that one we've used. Let's go to nightmare. Right, it's not changing the AOE. Ads in my stream. Not if Mr. Bezos has anything to say about it. Thank you very much. Perfect. It's a worse one, but that's fine. Oops. And we can just keep these puppies up. Uh huh. Uh huh. Make some perfect gems. Beautiful. Cool. So now we have these dual spirits. And again, if we take a look here, we can see one, um, we just get, you know, more battle orders, which is obviously nice. Higher battle command gives us a longer duration there. Um, we also could look at maybe, you know, shouting at something, but our defense isn't going to matter that much. But now we also get a big boost to resistances. That was 24 all res additional, I think, or something like that. Um, so that's a huge boost. Obviously, we get tons of mana. We're going to walk faster now as well. Um, and then we have more leap attack right here, which actually adds a decent amount to the damage. It, it, I think it almost like doubles the amount of damage. Um, that'll come out from that pulse just by getting that additional plus to skills there. So, you know, survivability goes up, which is what we really wanted, and everything else also kind of goes up along with it. And we can go out here as well, and we can do Den of Evil if we want. You can see 1682, and look at our resistances now. Max, cold, and light, and our fire is 38. Or our cold is actually pretty good over. Yeah, so we're like an additional 20% or so, roughly over max there. Which is really nice. Liquid, thank you! And again, our, our main damage now is going to be lesser, but our AoE damage is going to be higher. So it's a it's a different style, essentially, right, of of hitting, which is why it won't be great for like a single target boss, but we can use it for you 
kind of a, a mass grouping hit. So, different styles. And again, we do have a lot of extra points in strength right there. If we want to respec, that could be something for us to look at. Leap attack has this AoE now, yes. Eight still. I don't think so. But it does feel like <laughs> we're doing less damage from the AoE, even though it's higher. More proof that Spirit is just an insane rune word that it fits into this melee build lol. Yeah, it is. Isn't there a song to this build? Jump, jump. This jump, jump. Okay, yeah, we were on players eight. Okay, that makes more sense. I was like, hold on, our damage is so bad now all of a sudden. <laughs> Now let's go try. Because, yeah, I was like, we're doing 666 to 1332. Wow, super close to. Yep. Damage. And I'm getting wrecked. But it was player's eight. <laughs> Zombies are going to be annoying. Anything with a high physical defense uh, is going to be just, you know, annoying to kill. So. Help me. Kathy, I miss you. Please come, kids. Miss you too. It's not the same without you. I promise I will be more reasonable with the streamer donations from now on. Oh, Kathy's husband got some splaining to do. Does leap attack likely fan leech? Yeah, your your actual hit will. Let's keep going with battle orders here. I just wanna get that life up. I mean, I think Battle Orders is the perfect place, especially if you're not going for, you know, like a max polearm mastery, crazy high damage. Now, I think once you get to a high level with this build and you get some, like, really good gear, I think you could actually have a lot of fun. You can go, you know, max polearm mastery, max Battle Orders, and then you could do, uh, you know, max leap attack and max leap. And now you'll, you'll have some crazy big hit. You can have like a Breath of the Dying at the Warpike and really just have a have a good time with it, you know? Are we gonna put points into Blade Mastery now? No, because I, 
I don't know. I don't think that'll actually matter that those hits that much. We could, I guess. We could try one point. I may also start getting a point towards, um, you know, War Cry or something. Even Battle Cry, maybe just get a point towards Battle Cry there. That'd be really nice, probably. Yeah, so I, I don't really want to go into like War Cry and just be War Crying for damage, but it is nice to have a little stun, you know? Especially because this build does not give you a stun in any capacity, so. Attack with a bow? Will it let you leap attack with a bow? I don't know if it will. I doubt it. I think you need some sort of melee weapon. Because you, you are swinging, so yeah. I th you can't do it naked either, I don't think. Some sort of cheap thorns. You could just leap around like a regular person. Can you get hit while you're in the air? Yes, which is, again, a, a slight issue for the build. It, do it doesn't have a good way to, to, to not get hit. You're just going to get hit so much. One of the biggest, biggest issues with it. Build will take a while. I mean, these are physical immune. We're not, we're not killing a ton of physical immunes, or not physical immune, but high physical, you know, defense. The rogues are safe. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. 
And we can go one point to Taunt to get one point to Battlecry. Let us continue forward. Oh, that's not our way in. Oops. Now, again, with these builds, or a lot of these builds, as you do get to these Kathy is with weaker me now. sire builds. Get used to it. She made her choice, and we are going to have a great life together. Uh -huh. Please stop bothering us. Oh, no. Kathy is a free woman, and she has the right to follow her heart. Oh, dear. We are going to open that bakery together, and that is Finn. Oof. Poor Kathy. Or Kathy's new boyfriend. I'm not sure which one I feel more bad. And for or the Kathy's ex-husband, I guess now. Okay. So it's not terrible in its damage. I'm I'm actually very impressed. Which again, you know, is something that I'm sure many of you are like, you're impressed, but it's taking Impossible. 20 seconds to kill a boss group. Yeah, you know, but that's just uh, how it goes. Kathy's new boyfriend, thank you for the 666, donating more than Kathy's ex-husband or Kathy's current husband, whichever it is. I think I'm on Kathy's new boyfriend's side. Seems to be a bigger supporter of the Llama RPG, Llama uh, SC channel there, you know? I can't. So yeah, as a as a slow, slow playthrough, I think it will, you know, be tedious. If you're one of the people that wants to kill everything, obviously not physical immune ghosts, but kill all the monsters. This is this is not the build for uh, for you, I would say. But if, if you don't mind uh, fighting a little bit more around, so cold and damp under the earth. I don't think I have any spears on plans currently. <laughs> And again, you can take care of a lot of boss groups this way. And he's kind of pinned himself in a corner that's really hard to hit. It's a solid tainted pack. It's a pretty easy clear of it, you know. It's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. I don't mind it. I do not mind it as a build. And we're just slowly gaining levels here. I mean, we started, what, level 52 coming into hell? We're already almost 55. So, you know, it's not a build where you're forced to completely level up everything in Nightmare and you have no chance in hell. Now, obviously, the further we go in hell, the harder it will get as, uh, you know, the experience... Um, well, the experience will be good, but obviously for this character, it's going to be a little tough. Go ahead and grab the waypoint. Why not? Just because the AOE damage, you know, is nice, but it will start to con or just continue to fall off. But that's okay. I am a 
At that point, Don't it'll be more how does it do against Twitch bosses. Prime every month. It is an automatic, so you'll have to do your part in sticking it to Daddy B. That's a good point. That is a good point. Don't forget to resubscribe and use your uh, curse. I don't really know if I curse. Use your Twitch Prime sub. If you uh, don't wish to do that, don't have that, whatever piece it is there, then don't forget exclamation mark giveaway to get entered in a giveaway for up to a 4090 gaming PC and more. Takes no time at all and really helps out the channel. Thank you, Zarius. I can. Only one weapon swings. We're we're doing it for the pulse damage right now, not for uh, the other pieces. Wow! Grand charm, heaven. Me too, true blue. I think so, Arrow. I do believe that is the case. Hmm. Um. That looks. I guess it keeps going over there. I can't carry. All right, let's fight Endariel. See how this goes. I want to level up and get a point in Battle Cry first, though. Maybe I'll go back up a level really fast. Here. And zombies. Let's kill this tainted group. Hopefully that's enough. Almost, not quite. I can Another boss there. Dang you and your mana burn. Alright, we got it. Alright, battle cry. Perfect. is great because it lowers enemy damage as well as other things but the damage will be really nice here go ahead and take care of everything out here this character is actually so fun in just the most ridiculous way and you're just like flying around to attack mobs 
When there's honestly too many monsters, it's it's actually not quite as good. But when when you you really just have those few and you're like soaring over to like hit them, actually a blast. So here is where us getting some of that crushing blow and stuff I think will be really beneficial. We could switch over to the insight. I'm going to try this swap though. That's our better one actually. Ooh, 30 fire resist. Oh my god. Let's get rid of 11 attack rating and 3 dexterity. Uh-huh. Four intersight charges. Yeah, we can't use the insight though, so I actually want to pick that up and save it just in case I want the insight for later. And you can go away. Alright. We could imbue something. Maybe save it for another belt later. Or do a, a barb home at some point. Okay, so now we have... And now we can swing with our crushing blow as well. Swinging with my sword or with my club? The order welcomes you. With my club, okay. Does it swap? Swinging with my face, it seems. Yeah, it does. I feel like I'm really putting my face into it. Going all right, though. Someone give this man a grief? Ugh. Oh, if only. If only. I mean, this is a boss fight, man. Boss fights are hard. Dying would be so sick, I know. Beautiful, wow. Got a little crown, and this is our like the gate be open. so many times we have found these boots. It's like our fifth time this run or something. Every single run of this you kill of this character, and we get it. Yeah, so Crown of Thieves is actually really nice. First off, it's just fantastic. <laughs> For a mercenary, right, 11% lifesteal, 33 fire res, I mean, that's huge. So, if we had a treachery 
maybe if we gave our smoke over to our mercenary then we could we could actually like run it it's actually probably also not bad on this character if you're running like high damage just for that life steal It would be good for self-wear, but we'd be losing one skill, which at this point, a little bit... I mean, the life boost would be really nice. Impossible. The skill loss would be a little sad. But... Probably wouldn't be terrible. Dun, 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 dun. No, it'll give you... Battle Orders gives you be benefit on plus life as well. Just in that way. So that would be, you know, that getting boosted then by Battle Orders, you know, is a nice life boost. So we, we would gain a decent amount of life from wearing that helm, but we would lose some light res, which we can afford to lose. Uh, the main thing we'd lose is the one doll skills. Which, like I say, you can make an argument that losing plus one to all skills isn't horrible here, and yeah, it could be it could be true. Smoke is good for mercy. Yeah, it's definitely not bad. Impossible. Like I say, I think if we got a Merce, gave him smoke, that helmet, and insight, he would have potential at staying alive. Obviously, we would lose our smoke though, which would be uh, pretty big. Impossible. You know, pretty big fire res tank off, which would kind of suck. Um. But, you know, uh, otherwise, we'd hold up uh, all right. Cold res, it would also tank down some, actually, so. Nap time, sounds good, have a good one. Yeah, I really wish we could get that damage pulse just just higher, you know. Like just not enough. Careful here. Uh, now, IS isn't helping, so I can't. just be really worried about 
going nowhere. Uh, losing my resistances. That would just be really nasty. Impossible. I can't. Sub Zember Woohoo less than three. Woohoo! Thank you very much, RBN. Double check the hole's not over here. And let's see what we've got. Nothing there. Honestly, some of those look not bad to kill. Not bad damage. Need potions and stuff, though. No, we haven't we haven't done a respec yet. So we we have the ability to do that if we want. Get a little bit more. Oh, that's far away. That's right. Going for us. I can't. I mean, regular knee pet leap has knockback, so. Physical immunes, we say no thank you. find like an okay armor. Carvot, uh, that felt like a Carvot right there. Uh, Necronomicon or something like that. Crypt of the Necro Dancer. The sun has never shown here. Yeah. It is I've I've never played it, but it sounds really fun. You have to move to the beat. Place made you quit as a Necro. It's a tough one. Dance pad mode? Oh my god. I can't. 
If we hit a hundred installs from exclamation mark giveaway. That was weird. Uh, whoops. We'll do man vs. stream this weekend. Stop doing that. No, 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 no. Cursed. Cursed is always just annoying to fight. When is the curse only necro? Oh boy. I do not want to fight these guys. Might aura. First time catching what up? Happy to have you. Hello, hello. Nice first way, of course, on the beam builds. Never in the race. Good damage against those spear throwers. Of the YouTube voice? There is no YouTube voice, it's the same voice. I can't. Teleportation barbarian style, exactly. And they're both hanging up in my bedroom. So I wake up every morning and get a big ol' whiff of that flower, and it's lovely. It's a nice good morning surprise. I can't. can't. Alright. Time for Mr. Duriel. Swap that, and we'll chug some thawing potions. And get some health thoughts. I mean, you can kill stuff if you want, it's fine. Next Sunday speedrun theme will be decided by you guys. Uh, I don't know what the exclamation mark is going to be for it, but there is a poll on Arena if somebody can find that and post the poll. I would appreciate it.
just like that, act two is done. Give yourselves the clap, everybody. Beautiful. I have failed. Diablo has... For dead. <laughs> Trash. Need more tipis. Plus 50% cold, 3 Frost Nova, anything? Uh, some people are running Frost Nova builds now, it feels like. Some, some value because I imagine there is somebody out there running a Frost Nova build who wants that. Druid, Faux Paladin, or Barb? Uh, I wouldn't suggest Druid. Unless, if you're going Shockwave Druid, that is actually a pretty solid hardcore build. Uh, any three of those, honestly. Shockwave Druid, Foden is decent, maybe a little scarier, and Sigmar, those are all solid hardcore builds. Impossible. It's his curse, but it's not. I mean, Fire Druid is nice, but it's going to not be quite as nice for a hardcore playthrough. Though obviously, through normal, you can still run it. So we're stuck. I can't. Let's see what's over here. Great marsh. See where it goes. Enough. I need a key. 
Okay. 39 life trap. You see, no, it's worth converted to the plane. Uh, I mean, it really just depends each of Impossible. the different GCs. Battle orders. We could have gone Warcry for the stun there if we wanted. I think that would have also been a, a possibility. Impossible. Now we probably don't really want to fight spiders very much here, so I'm just going to switch to regular leap and just leap them off of us. Spider's too scary, man. Especially cursed, extra strong. We say no, thank you. This is probably an okay flare jungle build, though, as it does feel like it can clear them mildly fast. Seemed like it was gonna be a skip. I O doll, 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 I O doll. Fifty one to mana, twenty five poison damage is nice, but not enough. King's Lair, thank you very much. Oh wait, we don't want to go there. I O doll to you as well. Could have used that skip yesterday. Okay. True that. Through that. Flares, man. My Dora. Ooh, 
Who's got it? I need a key. Can't wait for ancients. Go a three merc. <laughs> That's the the potential cheese strategy. If it just nothing is working. Uh, I agree with that, Captain. When Diablo 3? Mm, uh, we got Lama RPG, you know. Coming. We're good on we're good on that. Sockets, no. Brutal. Where's my jib been at? Good to see you. Oh, we killed the boss there. We don't get a Jidvin. Is Leap any good for Elzer Bird Sing? It's better to sing. Now again, if you if you can get really like good gear and you're like, you know, giving yourself gear and all this stuff, I think you can make this actually have some viability to it here. But if you're just playing and simple playing through the game like this, uh, when you're playing Leap Attack, you're playing it because you want to challenge, you want to play this fun crazy style, whatever. You're, you're not expecting uh, to be flying or anything. You know. Nice. Uh, okay, we'll grab Warcry. I guess. Feels like cheating, <laughs> playing a meta build after this. Meh. We play lots of terrible builds all the time. Impossible. All right, and more vitality. Stay on this side of that. I can't. It's locked. I can't. I can't. Astrians and jaw. Oh, that's pretty sick. I can't. Hell is true pain. Yeah, hell is just a really, really big increase in difficulty.
<laughs> now we do have players. Uh, we can always do players eight up in here if we want for just like tons of drops. Lower Kurost, always a place to get runes and gems and jewels and gold and whatever you need. Hello. Well now, that I mean, that's really nice. Let's try a mercenary. Obviously, we have Trav coming up, so he's going to die, but... Uh, let's go Holy Freeze again. We'll give him Durial Shell. I mean, I could give him Smoke, but I think that'll be better. I, I still think I need the Smoke. Give him Insight and give him... Crown of Thieves. That's not a bad setup for a mercenary. We also, of course, have our own stuff rocking. And now let's go and respec. So we need 70 strength. Thirty-nine decks. I'm probably, where am I getting strength from? Two plus five is seven. Let's go to 80, because I'm getting two more there. Okay. And then we can dump the rest into Vitality, which will be a big boost there. That's 44. It's only plus three all res for another point there, so it doesn't really make sense. I can drop that. I might actually put a point in Mace Mastery because we do have this club, and that is actually our, our big swinger. So I may actually drop a point there just to get that attack rating boost for when we're, we're trying to hit stuff. We'll max leap and leap attack. Um, I do think the battle cry point is worth it, and then we'll go rest into battle orders. And I think that gives us a slightly better character overall. And now we get to boost up our mercenary as well. And hopefully with the Holy Freeze, this allows us to kind of stand in there a little bit more as well. Now, the nice thing is there's really, uh, you know, a, a decent... That's really not a bad setup for the Mercenary. If we can get him an even better insight, that would definitely, you know, be awesome. But... right now that's probably the biggest downside is he's using a partisan which isn't bad here but if we could get him like a cryptic axe or something or an ethereal you know base get him some more damage that'll help his life still help him out overall and again lk is a fabulous place for doing all that stuff you can just run around and grab all those things three to battle cry cold res light res one to battle orders one to grim ward Wow, that's actually a pretty nice helm. That's actually a pretty nice helm. Yeah, with some uh, 18 to life on it as well, which ain't nothing. Now again, we would lose the plus one to skill, but maybe at this point that would be okay, you know? Let's do players eight before we pop the big chest. 
And then we'll take the small charm. Did so much damage. Oh, extra strong cold enchanted. Didn't even notice. That's okay though. We, we have Travancle coming up, so he was gonna die anyways. Melee with multiple shot mod. Yeah, the birds get it. It's kind of funny. Ten poison rests. I do not hate that. This helm is not bad at all. I'm, I'm actually considering using it over the lore. Because we get the added life. We get uh, a little more resistance overall. And then uh, it still gives us the plus one battle orders. It's really not shabby. And we look cooler wearing it. Always a big, a big thing. And now you can see we're up to 2400 life as well. can sleep safely and gather what we need. And we'll go back to town. God, I kind of, I, the fact that we can socket it as well later is like, you know, definitely better if we put sockets in it. Because then we could get even more life, put a perfect ruby or something. Put a Rao rune, max out our fire res too. We do lose a little resistance though. From that. That's so, that's so tough. Okay, we'll, we'll run it. We'll run it for fun. Excited to have audio over Christmas now. Okay, you always had audio over Christmas, though, so let's, you know, not pretend like that's a new thing you're getting. Exclamation mark Discord is how you enter the Discord. Audio is just a Christmas? No. Oh my god. Everybody always has audio. I need a key. 
Huh. Okay, so it's probably right I can't. behind us over here. I'll be shocked if it's not on the right here. There it is. Okay. After audio, I think I'll get the stream in color instead of black and white. Sure. You need to subscribe to get the stream not black and white and uh, to get your audio. So make sure to get your subscription in, everybody. Daddy Bezos will pay you for that one subscription every month, but it doesn't auto-renew because Daddy Bezos is too greedy for that. He's not going to auto-renew it for you. You got to remember to take it back. Send Trika, thank you. Thank you. Zero fear. Let's get a prime train rolling. Roll it all over Bat Daddy Bezos' face. Angry Josh with the Prime Sub. Thank you very much. And Nasset the Bard. It's hard to speak. Thank you as well. We've got two minions here. What we got in here? Generic with the prime sub as well. And we have a little prime train almost rolling there. Where did that one guy go? Let's see if we can find him. I just want Jellib to follow us. Not those stupid minions though, but it's only the minions that are chasing. I guess minions it is. Sit the bard. <laughs> Cooley! What up, homie? Good to see you. How you doing? How was the stream? Patty, please! Thank you! Uchiha Harvey gifted a tier one Aww, sub thanks, to Kuli. Uchiha. They have given eight gift subs in the channel. I need you to get a hit. Come on, dang it. 
I knew you were taking too long. Now he's gonna heal ya. Cold fire light enchant. No wonder that guy is like such a pain to try and kill right now. Stop healing him. Cold fire light enchant. Okay, I'm actually gonna grab my mercenary. I think he'll uh, be able to take him. Or he'll just pop instantly. How do I really feel about this, Barb? I think if, if he gets some really solid gear, he has a chance, but it's, it's very tough. It's very tough. There we go. Good job, mercenary. I can't. What's in there? Six to life, small charm. Yeah, we'll take it. Um. Like I said, if you give me an e bot it, I, I think we've got you know some more potential with the build here. For sure. But it really, it really is gonna need some gear. Leap attack just needs a little more damage to scale. Maybe another synergy or something. And then it needs um, that for its AOE. And then the AOE needs some sort of way to stun and or uh, knock back something. Cause you jump right into the middle of all these monsters and then they all just swing and hit you. Like, like you, you just suicide. Yeah, it needs to like cast a war cry on landing or something, you know, which would be maybe too OP if it was fully like that. But just, just something of that nature. Yeah, it could be something, Guardian, if they did something about it. Make it a little less intrusive there. God, this map is always so huge. It's biggest map in the game. Uh, I'm trying to think of, I mean, you know, there's probably just like. Impossible. Impossible. It definitely has the biggest expansion. Definitely biggest dungeon. I'm just trying to think if there's like an outside map, you know, like. Frigid Highlands or something, is that technically just a bigger map, right? <laughs> All right. What? You didn't even give my mercenary a chance. Now, making a black and a flail, making a strength, anything like that would also be a totally fine weapon choice to have for this.
Super Mario! I'm mercenary, man. Ooh, unique ring! Nineties <laughs> Carlson! Question about runes. Is it better to upgrade lower runes to get higher runes or to farm for higher rune drops? Thanks for the content. Uh, probably better to farm for higher rune drops. It depends how high you want to go, though, but generally. Let's see what it is. It is... Really? Well, all right. Stay a while and sad. What do you need? Got all excited, helm of. Fisto, big drops. Nope, still mantle. Always. Thank you, Trick, for the prime sub as well. Hail to you, champion. Anyways, you've just completed Act 3 of Hell. Give yourselves the clap, everybody. Good job. We're level 57 and 6 tenths. So we're moving along. May need to do a little bit of farming at the end there just to get a little bit more done, but otherwise, going okay. Let's find Mr. Ishwal. Good old souls. Let's call it three fifths. Yeah. And let's get a little bit more cold res. Can always just beef that up. See if we get our mercenary to survive a little bit. Come on, Raisin. Get your aura up.
I almost wonder if I do want to get this, just because the chance to hit is nice. Let's do one point into Blade Mastery. And we'll go for Battle Orders again. Swap these guys. Our exit should be over here, actually. Rare magic gear that has value and what to look out for. I feel like I've made some videos of the sorts. Just kind of like affixes that are solid and to look out for in general. Dang it! Raisin! Uh, this is... If he doesn't have full resistances, he's just dead, you know? I knew he was gonna die the second we started fighting these guys because they have light damage and he didn't have light res. He only has 45 or so. It's tough, man. That's why getting him like a, even though, you know, Durial Shell is nice if we could get him something better, like Treachery, then he's really in the clear. She doesn't run away really often enough. Maybe if you didn't call him Raisin, he would work harder to stay alive. M R L L A M A L U. -L. That's his name, R A Z A N. Raisin. What do? You, how do you pronounce it? Raisin. Ah, uh, Raisin. I oh, don't know. I think Raisin's a cool name. If I have a baby boy, I'm gonna name him Raisin. I can't. I can't. Meepo. <laughs> Yeah, we call him Lil Ray for short. I can't. Impossible. Well, no. Raisin, you gotta spell it right. My goodness. Check for physical immune. Not a bad chaos so far. Okay, no physical immune. He is cursed though, which is a little bit annoying. We'll deal with that later. Not as nice of a chaos over here. Okay.
Can't bounce everything out that we don't want. And then we can just fight him. Very simple. Leap has amazing crowd control. I want to get that one dude away, but that's okay. We'll just kind of back everybody out of this area. Make some space for ourselves. Did I get low cryo? I don't think so. Just take a little space here. Easy enough. Impossible. I already checked that there was no fizz immune. Please back up. We're having a fight over here, and we are not interested in having you come. The Sace won't roll Fizzamine, no. Impossible. All right, time for Raisin to prove his value again. We'll take him out to the cold plains to get him warmed up. And they get a quick level. Get your holy freeze going, bro. I always hate how long it takes for them to get their auras sometimes. I 
Lamet tweeted straight by the official Diablo account and shows zero care. Oh, what'd they say? Okay, he got his holy freeze, finally. I don't show zero care, I'm busy streaming. It's a promo tweet for Lilith. Are you ready for her arrival? Lilith is coming. <laughs> Tell me what you got. Ooh, 28 to life. A lot of a lot of not bad charms here. I mean again, that's a nice boost. If you look at our, our life total, 28 life is worth a ton, you know, when you've got a big old battle orders there. Uh okay. And he does. I mean, yeah. That's that's definitely his issue. He's, he just doesn't have quite enough leech. Uh oh. The sexist llama that side of the Mississippi. The sexist llama? Dang it. Yeah, his weapon needs to be bigger. Thank you, Dumas, I guess. be sexist I'm very forward thinking I let all women pay for me oh my god ridiculous. boo girl pays for me one time a day and all of a sudden, sexist llama. I can't carry anymore. I'll slow and steady work this group over here. Can we make a draw now? At the end of this stream. Or the end of this run. How about that? She's only paid for one of my houses. Thank you. See, somebody gets it. Like I'm just leeching all the time here or something, you know? Alright, I gotta get Boss Man out here, though. Get him, Darcy! Thank you. 
There's a giveaway. Yes, exclamation mark giveaway. We're giving away up to a 4090 full i9 beautiful gaming PC. And more monitor, keyboard, headset, everything to go with it. We can get up to a thousand installs. Look at this, the heavy boots again. Oh, two to barb skills. <laughs> Level 67 though. A 4090, a 4090. If you guys get up to a thousand installs of this uh, extension, Capital One extension gives you promos, coupons whenever you go to check out. Very simple, takes 15 seconds to do. The computer will be valued probably around like 3,500 to 4,000. Does make it a little tricky, pretty odd, yes, but I think we can do it. Thank you, Iron Fade! We didn't do Forge. I, I mean, I seriously have found Sanders like five times. It's crazy. Do you know you can skip it? Yeah. Like pretty standard, generic. <laughs> That's because some of the prizes, uh, OGB, are like a trip to Hawaii or something. Like we could we could change our top prize to be a trip to Hawaii, and they don't want to be sued if you go to Hawaii and then, you know get hurt in Hawaii or whatever stuff like well that's all you gotta do you guys it's so simple to get Shaco. I don't know why people make it such a big deal about finding a Shaco for their runs and stuff. You know, it's like you just do this run and then you go and you get your Shaco and it's... Ooh, what the barb skills? Nice. It's simple. And just like that, congratulations, Act 4 is done and, well, you got a Shaco. So that's nice. Can't really uh, complain too much about that. Let's go to Act 5. We're 58 and a half, so we just have a little leveling to do. We're not too far from 62.
Just need to get to 61 and then go do Ancients really fast if we want, or we could do it before Ancients, you know, whichever one we wanted. It's a melee barb with Shaco and two spirits casters RLY are up. <laughs> He's not even casting though. Just likes his plus skills. Next up, Mang songs from Bale. I, I'd be okay with that. Shank Jarun. I would also be okay with that. I don't really want fire archers. Let's reset it. <laughs> the time has come to Great. create my homeland. You know what? Now is probably raisin time. He should be able to do some stuff out here, I would hope. Man, he really does just need a big stick. That'll help him so much. Honestly, he did his job, though. That's all I wanted, was him to clear all the enslaves. We don't have the dong software on right now, but just know that's a new item. 12 items left. Wow. Well, we've got a little magic find on with Nagel Ring. Maybe, maybe that's it. A little bit. Wow, we man, skull collector drop. It's not quite Mang Songs, but it's uh, right below, you know. You'll still get in the giveaway, Jesse. You just can't, unfortunately, boost the install count there.
are you talking about, Mr. Voker? He looks great. Yeah, the diamond mail could have been good, but that's okay. Action here. Grim Ward for a little scary, spooky time. try nightmare players eight really fast and just see the difference of time versus experience because at level 59 leveling up here on players eight I don't know, it's the best weapon you guys can suggest. Probably get honor at that point. If you can. When is the giveaway? Which one? Exclamation mark giveaway will be at the end of the month. However many installs we have, that'll be the prize that we're giving away. That'll be end of December. Today we're going to give away some Marina hoodies though, as well as decide tomorrow's, or next week's uh, Sunday race. So. And uh, doing a fire build and minion summons currently. It's first hardcore to finish Um. Definitely make sure your resistances are close to max and hell. You're gonna run into a lot of fire moons as well, so that can be kind of scary. You'll have to be careful and watch out. Having some summons could be helpful, for sure, like you were doing already. But you'll have to kind of see how that's going. It is, Voker. Not for here, though. Nightmare ones aren't bad. Didn't know it was garb on Blitz Source. I use it on Blitz Source. When, when, once your Blitz Source gets high enough level, you can use it. Kind of mix and match to if you're going like cold fire. But otherwise, yeah, it's more for like when I switch to lightning and stuff for fun. Will Volcano Molten cover the fire resistance? Uh, I mean, the fire means are going to be hard. They're gonna probably do more than you'll be able to deal with at the time, but there is good physical damage, I guess, from um, like Armageddon and stuff, so it can be okay. There's always a lot of immunity issues that you know every class almost runs into in hell. So sometimes you're just gonna have to like skip past some of the mobs. Molten Boulder is also decent, yeah. So you switch to Windy Tornado? That does work. I like I like Windy Tornado for hell.
One more level. Yeah, having the cold and physical damage is really nice. But you can see how it goes with fire and then see. Raven Frost from that ring. That would have been so cool. Good afternoon. Yeah, we could definitely at this point go up until 62 here, and then we can wear the Shaco 4 Ancients, or we could just rush to Ancients, kill the Ancients, and then wear the Shaco after Ancients. Both are okay. My 618 to 1236 is my, my current leap attack damage. And that AoE. Not the like actual attack damage, but that AoE pulse. So it's okay. I really do wonder how high it gets if you have like, you know, 44, 45, 46 skill points. Uh, that's just how they made it. Yeah, wearing, you know, some sort of shield with res and stuff could definitely be nice in this build. Yeah, if it's scaled with weapon damage, that'd be interesting. Could definitely be, you know, one of those builds where you get a massive maul on and then go crazy. I'd love for them to try that. Alright. Let's go to hell and wear our Shaco. Like I say, unless you think we should wear our Shaco before we get to Ancients. Which is also a possibility. Take another three minutes or so to level one more level. Five minutes, whatever it'll be. Mustache fits, thank you. Could help with the Ancients. I mean, it'll have the damage reduction, which will be nice. Overall, I don't think it'll be a crazy big help for Ancients, but it'll be a little bit more. A little bit extra with like battle orders and things like that. I'd rather have Ariats, honestly, but you know. Yeah, we found it off of Hell Diablo. Just found it. Ay, both of those are pretty gross. One to Assassin's Kill, seven strength, seven all res. 
Honestly, better than this random amulet. If that was barb skills, it'd be really hooting and hollering, but it's okay. Assassin skills it is. Yeah, I have two spirits on right now. <coughs> Almost 3k life is really nice. Can they just nerf spirit already? <laughs> You're not wrong. Plus skills gear definitely helps barbs a lot. Not just because of that, but because plus skills gives you whatever your plus to main skill is that you're using, whether it's something like Warcry, or if it's like, you know, Berserk, or whatever it is, then you get the boost there. You also get the boost to the weapon Mastery, so that's a secondary boost. But then you get all the passives, which the barb just has so many passives that he ends up really using. So you have your battle orders, you have your battle command, you have your battle cry, you have, you know, a war cry if you're using that as well. You have your resist all, you have increased speed, you have increased, you know, defense if you're using, you know, going for defense. Like, there's so many skills that really get a nice boost. Iron skin, exactly. Like, that whole passive tree just really... Increase stamina. And of course, find item. Yes, also for things like find item. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's really, you know... Compared to a lot of classes, the plus skills here hit so many. All right, last one, and then we get Shaco! Bong. Let's go, baby! Sha sha shako. Sha 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 shako. Hmm. Now, do I want to just shove this ruby in the shako? Oops. Probably. Or do I want resistance? I think I just want the ruby. Let's just get a bunch of life. M, Ral, Random Jewel, and an Amulet. One to Druid skills. I Nothing! Absolute trash. I uh, just have one point in natural resist. Oh, players eight. <laughs> we'll leave that alone.
3,227 life. Very nice. Still nearly maxed. Yeah, the plus two skills there is going to, you know, help boost that up. So we're 75 fire, light, and just our cold is at 60. Run wasn't nearly as bad as you expected. I mean, it's not fantastic, but... Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it works, right? I think that's the biggest thing you can say about it. It works. Yeah, it's a self found character. It's another, if you want to play through the game and create your own fun playthrough of it, challenge, be unique, whatever. This is a way to do that. Might slap with the IK set. I bet the IK set would not be terrible on it, to be honest. Get all those plus skills. Don't need the IS and the weapon. Exactly, it'd be okay. D4 going to have Llama achievements? What is that? I can. Impossible. Llama level? You'll have to ask uh, Diablo. Llama RPG will have Llama level, so you know. We got that much. Impossible. I mean, there is no llama level. Dun, 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 dun. Ray for one hour veil? Nah, I won't be that. Can't wait for Llama ARPG? That might be the second one in the series. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Yeah, Bail Bail will take a little bit of time, but shouldn't be crazy. Have we done a kill every single monster run yet? Yeah, I did. And then chat would come in and check to see how many monsters I missed at the end and stuff. There were a couple acts where I missed an okay man. I think I ended up killing like, or I left like 40 monsters in total. Something like that. A couple acts I cleared every single monster. And a couple that had like 20 remaining because I missed a tiny pocket somewhere. All right. Act three was rough on it. Yes. The guardians of Mount Ariad await me. Yeah, it's on YouTube. Just look up like kill every monster. Probably has what you what you need there. I am overburdened. I guess those are just gold, honestly. At this point, we have Shaco. Who cares? Afternoon. Uh huh. All right, let's see. What do we not need out here for this fight? Mm, I guess I want all those. I don't need that. Man, that shouldn't be an issue. We'll just drop some potions and call it good, I guess. Hello.
get Raisin? Yeah, he might be able to do something here. Probably will die fast, but you know, it could be worth uh, a try. Wrong. Don't really want that. Um, yes. Just like stay down there. Burn curse is just not going to be fun. He is not just extra fast, he is super extra fast. He's extra fast with faster run walk, like 40%, 50%. is a uh, problem with the conviction aura. First leap attack, Barb. Thank you. 
Hey, thank you very much for the sub. Oh yeah, sorry. Restless legs. Teleport Conviction might be the easiest Mad Maddox spawn ever. It's a pretty good one. You just have to make sure you can get Maddox separated away from the Fire Enchanted, Cold Enchanted. Other guys. Head has its own annoying bits. It's a pretty easy combo, though. Dr. Brolab, thank you very much. For that prime sub. No boy. I don't like it. Let's get the waypoint. Okay. Impossible. Let's go get the waypoint here just for uh, safety's sake. Souls down here and Haradrim Ancients. That's annoying. 
Uh, we might reset. It's a pretty not fun group. reset it. Just not gonna be a good time. Not here. Souls just have good physical res there, so they're gonna be really hard to kill. I can't. I'm sure there's plenty of Magic the Gathering players here. Ooh, that's super poison. bugged again. This happened last time as well. Weird. Can't believe we got a new, uh, new grail item. Lucky 13 and you're still the goat. Err, llama, Mr. Llama. Thanks, Screamer! And my millionth Shaco. Exactly. Honestly, so many Shakos.
tough one. So at least get one killed. Yeah, Shaco and Skull Collector during this run. And these guys and stop reaching, but the other ones. Just need the streamer loot code. The code is exclamation mark giveaway. Comes with the extension. <laughs> Man, he has some mega regen. All right, mercenary. We could kill all these guys if we wanted. I can't. People have always sat on reserve cards, right? Yeah, it's got a little AoE on it now.
actually not bad, wave four. He's not terrible for bail waves. <laughs> As I die. His fire enchant explosion was a bit much. Yeah, we're not gonna fight wave five though. Wave five will be a nightmare. Could try and do a skip. Actually. Too fast. I can. Just allows me to see it easier where I need to click. Ooh, ten auras, eleven strength, six mana steel. Yeah, it's not horrible. Shaco! Stupid low durability Shaco. At your service. Good afternoon. MF and runes are independent of each other. Got such high defense. God, he's so hard to hit. There we go. A couple good hits on him. When my shako breaks on my zerk barb, all my gear falls off and I'm naked. <laughs> yeah, I try and make sure I have just a little extra strength. <laughs> Already halfway through bail, not terrible. Not 
terrible at all. Dunking on him a little bit, you know. This would be an interesting one to buff from Plague of Blizzard Wood. Punch Source after this. God. She'd actually be better than Punch Barb though. Get Enchant. Have Enchanted Fist. And Teleport. I mean, not bad. Some ultra hardcore runs. All those tentacles are rough. We already got a grail drop. I'm already satisfied. No eight. Those are fun. One point oh is brutal, man. What a different game. Wildly different game. few good hits. Too many tentacles. How much harder is 1.0? I mean, it's brutal. If you go watch my videos, like the Amazon, that, the, the Amazon might have been the hardest I mean, that is the worst character in 1.0 as well. It was so hard. Oh my gosh. I, I don't mind final bosses taking a few minutes. Let's go. Thanks, E. Higgins. Beat the game around like 30 to 35 in 1.0. Leveling up is a nightmare. Oh my god, it's so bad. there 
Almost there. You use the maggots in the River of Flame and kind of let their eggs continuously spawn. It still takes forever, but that's your, like, fast way. And... G G everybody! Hey, you said Tearhaunch, Rag! Even though you meant... Gorefoot, you said tear hunch. <laughs> Just like that, give yourselves the clap. Bail is El Defito. I will go through my stat skills and everything of the like. So here's our stats. Uh, pretty much just going hard vitality. Enough strength for gear for the most part there. Skills. Woo. Excuse me. We have leap and leap attack maxed out, of course, just to get as much of that leap damage there as we can. Leap attack damage. One into all the uh, basics and then one for blade mastery and mace mastery because I was using blades and maces there. Otherwise, I had one in polearm before. And then War Cries, we just maxed Battle Orders and got one point in Battle Cry, which was just helpful for all the bosses and things, make it a little easier to hit. Stuff like that. Gear-wise, we used Spirits. Thank you, Rag! Two Spirits for the plus to skills, obviously also the mana and life and all the nice pieces of that. Um, and then I, I found a Flesh Render, which has a chance for Crushing Blow on it. Also Deadly Strike and Open Wounds, which is nice. Um, thank you, thank you, Rack. So, this was solid. It also has decent damage. So this was just a good weapon to use for, um, bosses, obviously, and anything that we wanted to do a little more damage to with, like, that single hit. So that was a very solid find there. Otherwise, like I say, you can use Strength or Black or whatever you find, um, if you get that. Smoke for the 50 All Res on our armor. Never really found an amulet. Seven All Res is what we got there. We did find a Shaco. Prior to Shaco, we were using Lore. Prior to, or after Lore and in between, we found a Helm that was like, okay. Um, but obviously, Shaco is going to be best in slot for that. Like, Ariat's is best in slot. But Shaco is going to be, you know, the best of all that we found. So that was nice. Crafted some Crushing Blow Gloves. Got a little Light Res and uh, Life on them as well. So that was uh, nice. Nagel Ring. Attack rating is really why I was using that. Also, the magic find is helpful. Lightning resist right here. Tri res ring over here was really nice. And then we have our uh, Sanders boots for the 40 fast run walk. And also attack rating, strength, and dex. And then just random lifer, attack rating, damage, resistance. This is a really nice charm right here. That was really solid for us. Um, we found that like in Act 3 Hell or something. And, uh, yeah, like I say, just kind of other random stuff that we got along the way that we were using for different times here and there. But ultimately, this character ended up like this. And, of course, the teleport staff, which we really didn't have to use a ton. Um, you know, I felt like leaping around was really most of it. So, Hell Diablo Drop Shaco. That's, that's your Hell Leap Attack, Barb. That's your hell leap attack. What more could you want? Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Obviously, this is not, again, an A tier build or an S tier build. Um, I think if you get a lot of gear, it can start to do okay. And you can start to definitely have some fun. Get like a Breath of the Dying. Get yourself your Arius. Get a Fortitude or Enigma. You know, whatever you want. Probably Fortitude. Uh, whatever, and kind of go around clapping like that. I think that could actually be fun. So I may build a massive leap attack barb um, and, uh, you know, try it out with a lot of gear. But for a playthrough, it's a little rough, but you're able to do a lot of the gear. You're able to have a lot of the fun. I think it's solid. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe, YouTube, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.